We're gonna take this battery operated candle. I'm going to add this napkin to it. You can use this on a regular candle or these plastic type. So I'm just going to add my decoupage medium. And then I've already sized my napkin so it'll fit on nicely. Now do make sure that you remove the backing from your napkin. So you're just using the top ply. And then just gently place it down. You are going to get some wrinkles. If you wanted to lessen the amount of wrinkles, you can take some saran wrap or a plastic bag and press that down. I'm just going to go around and take the top part off. I just get it wet and then just gently tear it. You're going to let that dry before you do anything else. Really make sure that this is dry. And I'm going to add a cluster. So I'm going to take my fabric. I've got some doilies, some lace, some cheesecloth. And you want to have it very organic looking. You don't want to have a perfect circle or a perfect square. You're going to use different textures. This is a piece of cheesecloth. There are several types of cheesecloth. This is the one that I get from Amazon, but you could use the one from the dollar store if you like. It's just gonna be more stringy looking, which is fine. You can use different fabrics and textures, lace, whatever you have hanging around in your house. It's really a fun and unique look. Each flower is different every time. And I'm just gonna pop a staple in there. And I'm gonna add some bling. Give that a good press. Isn't that pretty? Then I'm going to adhere it. I'll just hot glue it right to the candle. And this doesn't heat up at all. Even if you're using a real candle, I find the outside doesn't get hot. I'm going to take my brown ink and just edge out at the top and the bottom. I'm going to paint the deers and the shadow box and we're going to make a really cute decor piece. So I went ahead and I painted the deers white and I'm adding some pink to the tails and ears, because why not? I think any time you can add pink to a project is perfect. Even little hoofs. Now I'm gonna add a little bit of black to the nose and the eyes. We don't need this perfect. I want these to look like the ones that they've been around for a very long time. And they've the, the black has worn off. So I'm going to add some of my decoupage medium. You can use whatever you want. You just want something that it will dry clear. And then I'm going to put some diamond dust on them. You can use diamond dust or glitter, whatever you want. We're gonna let that sit and we're gonna let those dry. And I went ahead and I painted the frame. I'm adding this pretty napkin. And I wanted the bottom, this is where the deers are gonna stand. I wanted it to look like it was snow. So I picked up this faux fur from the dollar store as well. And I just glued that in. And I'm gonna whitewash the frame. And all that is, is you've got the white paint or whatever color you're using, and then really water it down. And that just tones everything down a little bit. going to hot glue the deer on a little bit on the feet a little bit on the back and we're gonna put little baby deer right beside her and I didn't keep the uh, glass I actually just threw the glass part out I'm going to take my gold pen and just trim out the edge you could do it in golds. I do believe this pen does come in silver. 
Uh, or you could even use a white frame as well, or like a white pen. Now we have this really cute decor piece. You could hang it. You could sit it in a little A-frame, or you can just lean it up. That's what I'm gonna do, up against something else. I'm gonna use the digital print called Cottage Rose, and I've got this frame. It's four by six that I got from the thrift store. It's plastic. And I'm gonna use the four by six size from the digital print. These digital prints come in a variety of sizes. So you get five pages. There's an eight by 10, there's four by six. Each one is a little different. Now, when you purchase any digital files from me, you can use them over and over again. You can print as many as you want. You can use them in your crafting, your home decor. You can also use them in your crafting that you are selling. You just can't actually sell the printable as a printable, but print as many as you want. And this is super easy. Put the glass in, put the print in, and now you have a really pretty 